Excellencies, dear ministers, my old and new friends, and also other distinguished Somali young friends, and my friend from the United Nations, Nini. Good afternoon. It's a great honor for me to speak here in front of such a big gathering, gathering of the youth. I've been to quite a number of international conferences and Somali events, but I would say that today's youth conference is most impressive to me because I could feel myself the passion, the beating hearts of the young people here in this great country. I would also like to extend a belated best wish to the Somali youth on your 80s Somali Youth Day, marking the founding of the Somali Youth League 80 years ago. As we know, more than 80 years ago, 13 young Somalis founded the Somali Youth League, which played a crucial role in securing the independence of Somalia less than 20 years later. And I think that uh, despite the great distances between China and Somalia, there is a lot in common in the destiny of our countries. Because more than a century back, back in 1919, it was also thanks to a youth movement in China that we, at the end of the day, found a way to make our country independent from foreign aggression and foreign humiliation. So I think there is a lot that has tied our two nations together. And today I think I was also impressed by the many questions asked to the distinguished ministers. I don't think any of those questions are easy. And I know that the youth minister, my good friend of Somalia, is not on the podium, but I understand that, uh, of course, there must be also many hard questions for him as well. Uh, back in China, we do not have a youth minister, but we do have a sports minister. And probably the sports minister has the most difficult job in the cabinet, because whenever Chinese teams win, it's okay for him, but whenever Chinese teams lose, it's his big trouble. So hereby, I would like to extend my belated congratulations once again to the tremendous success secured by the Somali team, men's football team U17 on last year's tremendous success. I wish the Chinese team could make similar success as well. And sometimes that I understand just recently, the football team of Cambodia, an ancient country, suffered a major defeat. And the prime minister of that country had to explain himself before the young people of that country. People are, were asking why we have lost. And the Cambodian prime minister, in his answer, said that, OK, we should take it easy. Because we know for countries with much larger population than Cambodia, they sometimes lose in football. Many Chinese feel very much hurt. So, but we understand, of course, China is not the only country that has more population than Cambodia. But that explains that things that are very much cared for by the youth are also the catch of the eyes and the tension for all nations in the world, China, Somalia, Cambodia, and many other countries. All, through all these years, China and Somalia have enjoyed very good cooperation. And I think that uh, you know that in the first, we, what we call the golden 30 years of China-Somali ties, we, in collaboration with young Somalis, built many things in this country, including the National Theater, the Bernardia Hospital, the longest uh, highway linking Bella Twain and Burao, more than 1,000 kilometers long. And so that credit goes to the young Chinese and Somalis working together. In the later, unfortunate 30 years since 1991, 
despite the tremendous challenges facing this country and many parts of other world, I think the China-Somali cooperation has continued to move forward. We provide humanitarian support to this country, and I understand the Chinese humanitarian support is helped distributed to the grassroots people in Somalia by many Somali young Somalis. And also, we continue to give scholarships to Somalia, despite all the difficulties we may face. Each year, we provide more than 100 full Chinese government scholarships to young Somalis. So over all these years, more than 1,000 Somalis have studied in China. Most of them major in STEM subjects, engineering, ICT, power, and medicine. All those majors very much needed in the peaceful reconstruction of this country. Last year, in the latter half of the pandemic, and with all those challenges, in collaboration with the, His Excellency Minister of Education of Somalia, Minister Farah, we successfully helped more than 100 Somali students to go to China to start their new semester starting from September last year. And this year, starting from June and July, we are going to start a new round of applications for young Somalis wishing to study in China. We hope that the young Somalis will seize this opportunity and take chance to go to China, study there, make your young friends with not only Chinese, but international representatives from all over the world. Yeah. And so to conclude, I would just like to, I know time is short, I just want to quote Chairman Mao Zedong, who actually donated the National Theater to Mogadishu, Somalia. He said to the Chinese youth studying abroad in the 1950s that the world is yours as well as ours. But at the end of the day, it is yours. You young people full of vigor and vitality are in the bloom of your life, like the sun at 8 and 9 in the morning. Our hope is placed on you. The world belongs to you. China's future belongs to you. I think the same applies to the Somali youth. Somalia is yours to take. Somalia belongs to you, and the world belongs to you. Thank you very much.